An undefiled before God the Father is to visit the fatherless and widows of their, in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. I just think that was a good little add-on, okay? Good little add-on. Keep that in your mind. Read James chapter 1 for yourself, okay? Read James chapter 1 for yourself. Very, very good. Start at the top. Go all the way down. So, you must believe what you pray. Basically, let's go back to James 1 and 25. You must be a hearer of the word. You must not just be a hearer of the word, but also a doer of the word. You must actually believe what it is that you're praying. You must actually believe what it is that we're coming on here every single morning and doing, right? If you don't actually believe it, you are not pleasing God. Then it won't be able to be applied to you because you don't believe that it's actually real. You're like, oh, well, I just, I'm just showing up. I'm showing up because I know that's the right thing to do to show up to church. I'm showing up because I... I think it's the right thing to do to show up for mornings with grace, but I don't really believe. I don't really trust. You know, it's not going to be applicable to you. So our devotional says, let there be no misunderstanding. You can speak words in prayer that you do not believe and they will not produce the results you are looking for. I think this is very, very true. You can speak words in prayer that you do not believe and they will not produce the results you are looking for. Now, remember, I told you the first two steps of daring to pursue is dare to pursue you, which is in turn t daring to pursue God and then dare to trust. Now, obviously, it's difficult to trust, especially when you've been through things. Your trust has been broken. You've been stabbed in the back. People you w were supposed to be able to trust without any question you know did you work did you wrong did you dirty abused you and all the things i understand that and a lot of that trauma and the things that happened to us led us to not be able to trust god and so one thing that i shared with you guys that i started to do when i first started all of this was i would say i trust you jesus statements even though i didn't believe them just yet okay and I was working on not just saying I trust you, Jesus statements, but I was also doing or saying what like God help me to be able to trust you. God help me to be able to truly believe that this word that you say that or that's in your, you know, in your Bible. Right. Is real. Like help me, help me, help me, help me believe, help me to increase my faith. Help me, help me, help me to not just be a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word, because if you don't believe that something is real, you're not going to actually go for it and do it. It's like, I think this is a good example, right? Like those people, um, you guys remember like Forex? And mind you, I did it before and I did make money with it, okay? But if you didn't really believe that it was a real thing, okay? You was never going to really make no money from it because you was not going to take it seriously. Are you hearing me? And I only know this because I actually did it, okay? And I did make money from it. I made quite a bit of money from it, actually. We don't do it anymore, but my husband and I, we both did it. And But the thing was, if you didn't actually believe that it was something you could do and make money from, it, wouldn't, it was never going to work for you because you were never going to take it seriously. And you had to take it seriously. You had to follow certain steps. Like, you, gotta, you had to be tapped in for real. So I feel like the word of God is like the same way. If you don't take something seriously, it's because you don't believe that it's real. You don't trust in it. You don't, right? Like you have to take it seriously. Yeah. Oh, wow. LOL. Yes. <laughs> I did do Forex. When was this? Child. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. The devotional goes on to say, parroting, right? Being a parrot. So you're just regurgitating what you heard. Parroting without conviction or faith does not produce divine alignment, period. Now, with Forex, I just had to follow the little, you know. Well, I still had to believe in it, right? I still had to parrot it without, with some trust that it was actually going to yield me good results with me parroting the rules that I was given, right? The instructions that I was given, right? So, and I think that this is perfect too, because remember, Dare to pursue is the process. Okay, perfect. Shay said it makes perfect sense. Dare to pursue is the process of um, pioneering a life of 
baby hold on i'm tripping <laughs> dare to pursue is discovering there we go discovering divine alignment so that you can pioneer a life of unlimited possibilities the devotional goes on to say parroting without conviction or faith does not produce divine alignment you must be decisive. You cannot be indecisive. You cannot be double-minded. Remember, you cannot be on two sides. You cannot be neither hot nor cold. He's going to spit you out, right? Like, you must be decisive. You must make the decision today who it is you will serve, whose side you on, what it is you will believe in. You have to. This Jesus that they be talking about where you could just come as you are and not change. Like You can come as you are, but the Jesus, Jesus of the Bible, for real, you're going to change must occur. Because that's just who he is, right? Like, that's just who he really is when you really read it for real. Change must occur. So it says, make a deliberate and conscious decision to agree with the word of God. And then set your heart to be convinced of the truth of what you have read or heard. Only when you are able to do that shall you attain to the higher heights and deeper depths. Once you have decided to throw your full conviction into your words, heaven and earth will align to answer your prayers. And I can truly say that I am a living testimony of this. I am a living testimony of what heaven has announced. I think you guys have heard me say that multiple times i'm a living testimony of what heaven has announced i am a living testimony of this that is exactly what i have done and what i shall continue to do all the days of my life as for me and my house we shall serve the lord you know what i'm saying we, and we're not just saying that that's what we're actually doing and it's not easy every day right it's an intentional decision every day to do so right i'm gonna read it again once you have decided to throw your full conviction into your words, which is the parroting, right, of the word of God with conviction and faith so that it can produce divine alignment. Once you have decided to throw your full conviction into your words, heaven and earth will align to answer your prayers. It has to. It is God's will. He willed it. And so it shall be so. He willed it for you. So it's that it shall be so. 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 You must believe what you pray. You must believe what we declare and decree. You must believe what we come on here and say every morning. And when I come on here and say something to y'all, I want y'all to make sure y'all go back for yourselves and read it for yourself. Ask God for your revelation, too, and how it applies to your life. Right. Maybe you got that quick revelation while I'm on and while I'm talking. And even if you did still take what we talked about, the scripture, the verses and all the things, look it up for yourself, read it for yourself, get revelation for yourself. Remember the purpose of dare to pursue. Like We got lots of purposes. Right. I didn't talk about the one discovering divine alignment purpose. I talked about breaking generational curses and building generational wealth. Um, purpose. But the other purpose is so that you know that you don't need a proxy. You do not need a proxy to talk to God and hear from God, right? Our pastors and our preachers and our ministers and our prophets are great. People like me, we're great. I'm coming on and I'm sharing with you what I'm learning. I'm teaching you guys things. It's all great and dandy. However, you don't need me to hear from God, right? Like it's good for us to meet and do things like that. It's great. But another purpose of Dare to Pursue is for you to learn to hear God from your, for yourself. And the way that you do that is by taking what we talk about here, right? This is like, right? You take what we learn and you go and you study it for yourself. You go and you learn about it. You go and you increase your understanding of it for yourself. You've got to do the work for yourself too. You must believe what you pray. So let's go ahead and do our devotion or not our devotional, our declaration and decree for today. You guys can repeat after me. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So I choose this very day to walk by faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So I will meditate on your word. It will not return void, but will accomplish 
that for which it has been sent. I know that if I can believe, all things are possible. You are able to do exceeding, abundantly, above all that I could ask or think according to the power at work in me. I submit, or so I commit to trust you and your word. I will not doubt. I will not be double-minded. I will not consider between two opinions. I will not be a people pleaser. I will no longer operate in imposter syndrome. I will no longer operate in fear, worriness, or you know, worry, worrying, anxiety. Cowardice, I will no longer operate from a place of cowardice. I will believe what I pray. My prayers are powerful. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua of Nazareth, amen. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for you today for this episode of Mornings with Grace. Make sure you go and meditate on that word, okay? James 125 from the message version. Um, if you're not on my email list yet, get on my email list. Go to dare to pursue, dare to pursue dot co, dare to pursue dot co. I'll put it in the chat here for you guys. Get on my email list. The replays are on YouTube. If you missed yesterday, the day before, if you don't remember what we talked about two days ago, go back and listen to it again. Sometimes we just need that extra push. We need that extra reminder of what it is that we learned about. Maybe we missed something the first time. Okay. Get on my email list, subscribe to YouTube, get off of um get off of here if you haven't already, okay? <laughs> but um I love you guys so much. Have a great and amazing morning, and I'll see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.